Hello and welcome to the channel and today I've got for you a mixed haul, uh, mainly Primark, a bit of Home Bargains, bit of Next and Boots. But I think we'll start with Primark because we love a bit of Primark on here, don't we? And I went to the makeup section and got some new mascara. I saw this on another YouTuber's channel, um, Claire Welch, I think her name is. I'm not sure how you pronounce her surname. I'll pop a picture of her in now. I love her channel. She does loads of Primark hauls and lots of makeup stuff. And she um, was raving about this. It's a brown mascara. Now, I have actually got... It's not this one, but I've got a brown mascara on today. And just realised a bit's missing there. Um, but I do find it's not as harsh as black. So if you want something a little not quite as dark, brown's a really good one to try. So this is the PS Pro Extreme Lash Mascara, £3.50. 86% uh, said it gave instantly thicker look. 8 out of 10 said it gave instant volume. So let's have a quick look at this. So the one I'm wearing today is the number 17 one and I really do like that. Um, it's gone up a bit in price actually. So it's probably about the same as this now, 350 So nice little bit of packaging like that. Let's have a look at the brush. Ooh, ooh, it's a brush brush. Haha, <laughs> I love bristly brushes. Look at that, that looks a really nice brush actually. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. If any of you try if any of you have tried that, will you let me know in the comments what you think of it? Or if you'd like me to let you know if it's any good, drop me a comment and I'll respond to you. Lint rollers with the cats now, it's a nightmare. There is fur everywhere, and I get through lint rollers a lot. I've got one actually that it's a reusable one that you wash, but sometimes I just need a normal lint roller. So I've got a full-size one with a refill. These were only a pound for both. And I don't know why, they had some others which had like a rose gold outside on and this was a different colour. They were pound fifty. I couldn't quite work out what uh, warranted another 50 pence or something like that. But a pound pleased with those. So on another haul you may have seen I got some um, chinos from Primark, bargain chinos, so I thought I like them, I'm going to get some more and uh, I went into the Leicester Primark when I visited um, family recently and they had a couple of colours that my local Primark didn't have so I've got a pair in black so these are £15 down to fiver and I thought because Skinny jeans have gone out a bit, so they keep saying, even though they're in all the shops. I thought these are quite a good replacement um, for a skinny jean. They almost look like jeans. Or, I could even get away with those for work, I think, because they're black. But a little bit wider. Um, size 8 I've gone for. Now, I've got another colour, which I'll show you in a minute, and I'll show you the clip. And I don't know whether these are a little bit bigger. Anyway, they're the black, which I really like. And then the other colour, I've actually had them on to try them on, so I'll pop that clip in now. So that's the mom. Uh, they are a little bit big. Considering they're an only, only an eight, they must come up quite large. Um, I've popped a belt on and I'll have to hoist that up a bit around the bottom area. But yeah, I like those. I think they look really nice. I actually quite like them with the belt. Uh, just a Primark t-shirt and some Primark baseball boots to go with those so yeah they i don't know i'm gonna to have to try the other pairs on that i bought because they seem quite a bit bigger especially around the bottom what i thought i could do if i wanted to we're going on a safari next year and i thought these might be a bit thick for the safari because it's in south africa but i could cut them down if i fancy it and have a pair of uh, safari shorts go with this top so in the other haul, the chinos I bought were a green colour, um, sort of a khaki green. And I've not really got, believe it or not, many khaki green tops. I've got a khaki green hoodie, but T-shirts and things I've not got. I used to wear so much khaki green. Just fashions change, don't they? So I thought I need a khaki green top to go with them. And I love the Primark long sleeve tops like this, long sleeve T-shirt. Like the neckline on this one, quite a high neck. So it's just the green with the white stripe, long sleeve. These have gone up to five pounds. They were four and I've gone for an excess in that one. I think they've changed how they do the sizing now. They doesn't say what size that is. I thought that was really nice. That'll go with lots of different things. Um, I'd go with a 
in fact that probably would go with those as well so yeah trip with that and then to match always like to be matching so these bobby dazzlers socks crew socks and these are what i've what i like what primark i've started doing is different sizes in socks so these are size uk two to five um i do find some of the socks a little bit big in the in the four to seven just a smidge big for me so these um i've got all the colors in that will match those chinos and the top and they're a bit snazzy actually they've got a bit of uh pattern on them i'm not normally into stuff like this but oh it's a bit unfortunate 69 well 1969 uh boston so they're a blue they'll go with jeans blue and white then we've got a gray with uh like a cream stripe and a green on the top gray bottom well, these are nice aren't they then you've got just a pair of the plain khaki with cream they're nice, cream and um, denim colour again, and then some more green with number 19 on. Thought they were very nice, I like those a lot. So five pairs of socks, three quid. And then a couple more bits from Primark before we move on to a different shop. Of course, I got some more brow sketch. I stock up on these all the time. These are two pounds, best eyebrow product I've found, love it get it in blonde and then I got some more of the mascara in aqualash I actually gave this last one to my mum mum loves waterproof mascara and she really struggles with her eyes um, getting sore with certain types of mascara just be ever so careful so I got her some thinking it won't be any good but she really likes it um, it's only 250 so it's black aqualash so that will be for her next time I see her as will probably some of the brow sketch or as she calls it, sketch brow. Next up, I thought I'd just show you these. Not very interesting, but quite fascinating. So they are toothpicks. I got these from Boots and I shall show you them because they're a little bit different. So they're by the brand Dentec. They are cross flosser, eco-friendly, plant blade, pant, start again, not pant, plant-based floss picks. And these, let me show you can you see hopefully you can they've got like two bits rather than just one and i have to say i get on with those a lot better than just the single strip in um, the normal toothpicks because i do find now they get stuck in my in my teeth or they're a little bit harsh sometimes these are quite soft and with the double very effective um, the only thing is, I think because they're plant-based rather than plastic, this isn't as strong as maybe some of the other toothpicks, you know, if, if you like doing a bit of stabbing. So they were on offer in Boots for $1.99. I think they're normally about $2.50 or $2.99, but I'd recommend those. Very nice. And they also taste a bit minty. Next, next. So you know I love the Bath & Body Works hand soap. Um, our next doesn't sell it. But because we went over, Alan and I went to Milton Keynes for the weekend the other weekend. That's where, when we very first met, I lived in Leicester, he was in Chelmsford. And we met sort of halfway, Milton Keynes. So we tend to go back each year if we can. Um, and the next there has Bath and Body Works. So I thought, I need some more of the foaming hand wash because I'd run out, or nearly run out. Got in there, they had an offer on, I couldn't believe it. Three bottles. So normally it's now, ten, well, most of them are £10 a bottle quite extravagant but it is rather delightful and they had an offer on three for 19.50 so that was an absolute bargain so I tried the others I smell about 10 this was the only one peach bellini this is my favorite anyway the others that I like I like champagne toast and I think it's merlot blossom or something cherry merlot didn't have those and I tried loads of different ones and I thought oh I really need have a change but I just absolutely love this one it's, it's a mixture of peaches and nectarines it's lovely so I ended up getting three of the same one I just thought what's the point in buying one that you're not as keen on when that's your favorite so yeah that was uh I've got the price on there 10 pounds so three for 19.50 very pleased with those and then just a few bits from Home Bargains. I've bought some of these things before, but I'll just go through them. Um, I've got a replacement of the 
toilet duck fresh brush the refills do you know the video i did on this showing it is one of the best ones on my channel it's had thousands and thousands of views i did like a demo how to use it i get so many comments on it men women all over um asking different questions this should be a, a rep for toilet cleaners anyway these are the little uh, refills that go in the plastic thing i'll pop a picture in now so you know what i'm on about so you get 12 in there and they were two pounds 50. i've used the kill rock stuff before so i thought i'm going to get some more because i love it so i got the kill rock dishwasher cleaner love that and then i got the kill rock coffee machine cleaner really like that and then this one which is my favorite the kill rock mold remover brush on gel this is great it's got a little brush obviously at the end and you can you squeeze a bit of product out and you can get into all the little bits where you need to get rid of mold but i really like that one and they were all on offer 1.99 each yeah they had a bit of a promotion on kill rock so i was really pleased with those again they're definite recommendations more refills this time for my dishmatic one pound fifty i like the pink ones they're not as strong as the green but i just like the look of those a bit better a couple of sprays disinfectants the last time i bought some of this was during covid so i've had it for a long time so it is the detol all-in-one uh, disinfectant spray kills cold flu and viruses it's quite pricey that 2.99 pomegranate paradise but yeah now we've got the cats need to be a bit careful with the old uh, bacteria etc and then this i haven't had any fabulous for ages this is the white vinegar spray apple cider fragrance a versatile effective and fragrant vinegar cleaner in fact i think this was for glass oh i don't remember it being that pungent oh that is quite smelly uh yes may well use that for let's have a look where you can use this oh sparkling clean surfaces around the home oh that's not necessarily a disinfectant as such that's more of a cleaner talking of the cats here comes one no doubt he's going to jump on here in front of the camera like he normally does oh it's willow it's not gandalf um but yeah with their litter trays this is great just to spray on the litter trays to get rid of all the nasties uh that was 99p can you hear them? Yeah. Do you want to come and see the people? Yeah? Meow. Meow. We'll speak to each other. Meow. Meow. <laughs> um, got some more of this. I really like this. This is the Astonish Bath Soak in Pink Paradise. Smells lovely. Really good value. Oh, that was on offer at 99p as well. Getting into bath season soon, aren't we? Autumn, winter, marvellous. Um, so it's Pink Paradise. It's got a bit of raspberry in it. Love raspberries. Love the fragrance. Love the taste. Perfect. Just waiting for her to jump up in a minute. And then I got some of this for Alan. He loves this one. Simple. This is the Nourishing Shower Cream. A gentle formulation. Here she comes. Uh, suitable for sensitive skin he tends to use shower gel just to wash he shaves his hair so he doesn't have long hair and he tends to use a shower gel just to wash his instead of shampoo so something like this because it's quite gentle it's not too too harsh on the scalp uh, that was 199 and then finally for this haul mouthwash this stuff oh my goodness is this the one alan uses this listerine this was on offer a special offer 199 um, Listerine Total Care Stay White Arctic Mint. I find Listerine too strong. I think it's the one with the alcohol in it. That burns my mouth off. You do tend to get used to it though if you use it a few times. But Alan likes this strong one. I tend to stick to Aquafresh. So yeah, that's the final one of those. Did I say the price? One ninety nine. Everything seems to be one ninety nine. Here she is. Willow Pillow. She's so much better now. I can't remember. It depends if you've been watching the um, the vlogs that I've been putting on. But can you believe Gandalf and Willow are a year? We've had them for a whole year now. We had them a year last September. She was really, really poorly. But she's a lot better now. She's a lot bigger. She's a lovely little thing. She doesn't like being picked up much though. So that's her. I know I show Gandalf quite a bit. So nice to see Willow making an appearance. 
Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm having a massive problem with people leaving comments recently. People have been leaving comments and then YouTube's been deleting them, which is not very helpful at all. If you've noticed this happening to you, I was going to say leave a comment down below, but you can't really if it doesn't work. Um, I do leave my email address in the description box, so drop me an email and let me know if you've been having those problems because it's really quite annoying because there's a few of you who are regulars and I've not seen your name pop up for a while. Um, I think what I'm going to suggest, one of my regulars, Donna, I think I'm going to tell her to unsubscribe, maybe leave it for 24 hours and then resubscribe to this channel to see if that makes any difference because I know she's tried to find out from YouTube how to um, rectify the problem but as always they don't really get back to you very often so anyway yeah please do if you'd like to subscribe if you're not already leave me a message in the hope it won't get deleted or at least give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed so I'll see you on my next video thanks ever so much for watching bye for now